on this episode of the Fell Engine Project, to make the horn blocks. These support the axle boxes, allowing the axles to slide up and down. I decided to make these out of 16mm steel square bar, which I cut on the horizontal bandsaw. I cut the bar to the size of 4 horn blocks, to make machining easier. Then it was off to the mill to square the bar up using a carbide insert face mill. Once the bar was machined to size, I cut it in half before mounting in the vise at 90 degrees to my previous setup. You'll notice here I'm using a stop in the vise so I can repeat the cuts on the multiple parts. I cut the slot using a 4mm slotting cutter. I find these faster than small end mills for jobs like this. The next job was to remove the material from the back, which I used a 12mm roughing end mill for. All eight horn blocks with their res machine now ready for the next process. I squared the bottom of the parts next, ready for the next machining operation. To machine the fronts, I held the part in the vise. I also added a clamp to provide downward pressure. I used a 12mm end mill to make the cut and the digital readout to locate it. Then I switched out the 12mm end mill for a 6mm end mill to do the corner radius. The 6mm end mill is more flexible so I find it faster to use a larger end mill to do the main material removal and then come back afterwards with the smaller end mill to do the final corner radius. I zero the Z axes of the digital readout so that my cut is the same depth as with my 12mm cutter. Then it's time to drill the holes using a 2.5mm drill bit. The holes are located using the digital readout. Then it was time to cut the part to length, first marking the part out and then using the hacksaw to cut it.
Then I cut the angled feature using the same process. And now the final threaded hole. Starting with a spotting drill, then a 2mm drill, then a 2.1mm drill to suit the M2.5mm thread that I'm going to cut. To tap the holes, I use the spring loaded tapping guide and the drill chuck. I use cutting oil on the thread tap. Cut the thread gently, backing off between turns to prevent the tap breaking. Now for assembly, using 2.5mm X socket head screws. And here we have it, the completed horn blocks ready for the axle boxes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.